Hey guys, Roman Kozak here and in today's video we will be generating green electricity from water using hydrogen fuel cells. These fuel cells are stored in these aluminum baggies so their polymer does not dry out. If it does, they will no longer be able to absorb hydrogen and oxygen gas, which means they will not be able to generate any electricity. Now I got these fuel cells from a company called Horizon Fuel Cell Technologies. They're an overseas company that supplies educational kits and standalone fuel cells. They're very small, lightweight, and well constructed. Now the reason I got these is a couple years back I created a project that turns urine, mud, or water into electricity to charge your phone. These guys generate around 0.6 volts each, but can generate upwards of 1 volt each. So you can imagine if you have 10 of these in series, you can get upwards of 10 volts. This is a PEM fuel cell, which stands for Proton Exchange Membrane. Now to start generating electricity, you will need a water bottle. If you're a little kid, make sure you get adults help so you don't cut yourself. Just cut off the top of the water bottle. Next, take two screws with nuts on them and a black and red wire. Be sure to strip the end and then wrap one end of the black wire around one of the screws. Make sure to tighten the nut on it. Just to make sure it's secure. Do the same with the red wire. Wrapping it around the screw and then once again tightening the nut to make sure it's secure. These will be our anode and cathodes and they will be generating hydrogen and oxygen gas. We will attach these to a battery using alligator clips. Now for added connectivity and strength, I'm just going to uh, add some solder on here just to make sure it doesn't slip off. At first it was a bit hard, but after a couple seconds the solder finally decided to stick. And I did the same for the red wire. Next, put a fair amount of hot glue on the black wire and screw, and then stick this right in the center of the water bottle. Hold it there for a couple seconds to make sure it dries. Next, put a generous amount of hot glue on the bottom of the red wire and screw, and place it in the water bottle about a centimeter away from the black wire and screw. This is our anode and we'll be generating oxygen gas. Next, take around a 50 milliliter syringe with a quarter inch tube and place that on the top. This will be put over the cathode and we'll be collecting hydrogen gas. Next, we will need to attach the voltmeter to the hydrogen fuel cell. A voltmeter has a positive and negative lead. Now, my voltmeter can easily slip through the hydrogen fuel cell, but yours may be different. So you may need to use alligator clips or something like that instead. And since we will be only using one port on the hydrogen fuel cell, I'll need to cover up the other one with electrical tape to make sure no hydrogen gas escapes. Now you can connect your positive and negative leads to a 9 volt battery. Now add normal table salt to warm distilled water. Be sure to stir it up so that all the table salt dissolves. Next, pour the solution into the water bottle, and you should instantly see hydrogen and oxygen bubbles forming on the electrodes. This is a process called electrolysis of water, and it splits water into hydrogen and oxygen gas. Now we will need to connect the quarter inch tubing that's carrying the hydrogen gas to the hydrogen fuel cell. But the port on the hydrogen fuel cell wasn't about a quarter inch, so I had to add an adapter. You can see a whole bunch of bubbles forming on the cathode. This is hydrogen gas and it's being funneled into the 
syringe to be collected in the fuel cell. You can also see on the multimeter we're getting above 0.6 volts, which is really good. And this means that the hydrogen fuel cell is working and that we're generating clean hydrogen gas. Visit my blog for all my other cool projects. I'm also on Twitter at Roman A. Kozak. And if you like this video, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Please subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye.